What's up, YouTube? Got a new product here called the sous vide. I think I'm saying it right, but just got this. Supposed to make cooking a lot simpler. Um, the temperature on the meat, fish, and everything that you cook is supposed to be accurate and on point. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys what's inside. Okay. So let's go ahead and open it up and go ahead. Let's see what's inside of this box here. All right. Oh, oh, I think we need to do it this way. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out. All right. Let's see what's in here. Simple. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a manual. Which is... Which we really need to read. Yes. We're bad at that, so we're going to read that. Okay, so make sure you read it. Before um, use. And this is it right here. This Simple. One big oh. item. Oh. oh, Oh. there you go. There's okay. the recipe book. You're going to have a lot of patience with this. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, so this is the... Sous vide. Sous vide product. And we're going to go ahead and... Plug everything up, show you how it works. If we like it, we'll let you know. We'll give you the pros and cons. All right. We got the salmon, getting ready to prep it right now and put it in our vacuum sealant bag. So we're gonna show you how we do that and the ingredients we're gonna put in for the sous vide. All right, so this is the salmon we got again from Costco. Nice little small one right here. And we're gonna go ahead and prep it real quick. We're going to go ahead and start doing the seasoning. And a lot of people I think would just put everything in the vacuum pack seal, but I'll just go ahead and put it on my salmon. We're gonna do two different ones. We're gonna do one with lemon pepper and one with uh, garlic and sea salt. So we're gonna cut this in half and we're gonna go ahead and vacuum seal it. like one of these very cheap at you get these at Walmart anywhere not not too expensive but it does the job All right, the okay we got the pot filled with water we're gonna go ahead and turn it on now and go ahead and put the settings on Ooh, wow look at that it's doing some circulation stuff already wow that's pretty cool so we need to put it at 131 Fahrenheit. One, 131? Yeah. Okay. That's what we... So you could have the temperature on either Celsius or Fahrenheit. We're used to Fahrenheit, so we're going to use that. Okay, so we got it to the Fahrenheit. We're at 115. We need to set the temperature at 131. Okay, so it's 131. And the time on this should be 45 minutes. Done. Okay, so now this is still red. That's the indicator ring. When this hits 131, the indicator ring should turn Change color. Uh, blue or white and letting us know that it's, ready to it's at the temperature. Remove. So here I'll it is. It's boiling. Look like it, and we'll go from there. Okay. 
So we're getting close to 131 and then once 131 hits this ring should change colors. There it is, green. So now it's preheated and we'll go ahead and put it in. That's when we submerge. This is the first one. This is the first one. Ooh. Okay. I'll submerge it right there, right underneath. I'm gonna use a clip to hold it in place. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the, the other, other one. one. Let's not try to touch the the metal. Think, yeah, yeah. I don't think, think it to. matters. All right, so it's in. Countdown has begun. We're a minute in already. And we'll go from there. So we're 44 minutes in. We have about one minute left. There it is. Now you can see the light turned blue. So that means it's done. Stop boiling now. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out. We're gonna go ahead and sear it and show you guys what it looks like. Let's go ahead and take it out here now. All right, let's take it out. Go ahead and cut that up. So this is done already. Like they, they said, it doesn't look good in the beginning, but once we go ahead and uh, sear it real quick, how's it feel? Oh, nice. Oh, wow. There's the juice right okay. there. Let's go ahead and cut this one here. You can smell it already. Yeah. This is the garlic one. Ooh. All right. Oh, you can smell it. It smells good. Let's go ahead and sear it up. All right. We're going to go ahead and sear it. It has to be really nice and hot. So this is the salmon from the sous vide, all right? We're gonna go ahead and give it a taste test real quick. I mean, all in all, looks good. Let's give it a try. So I just wanna show you how nice, yep, just perfect, nice and juicy. See the juice coming out? Wow. That's, that's just perfectly cooked. Normally when I bake the salmon, it's dry inside. So this is the first time I'm actually having like it seared. And there's my crunchy. This, which one is this one? I think this is yours. This <laughs> I think is the, the garlic. garlic. Yeah. Right, let's try the garlic real quick. Let's I like see. mine with lemon pepper. Mmm, perfect. Here's the crunch. Wow. Nice. Nice. Look at this. Nice. It just splits up just like that. This one's the lemon pepper that mm -hmm. we put. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, this is good. Oh, all in all, I think the only thing that I would have wished for is for it to be faster to cook. Yeah, it takes it takes a long time to cook. Um, like yeah. I said, from the steak, they said it takes like an hour. This right here took us 45 minutes, which is normal, which is for, normal salmon. for salmon that but, we bake. But with this kind of texture inside, you won't get this baking. Yeah, it's pretty good. But for a steak, I don't, I don't know if I can wait 45 <laughs> minutes for a steak. That's, that's just a little too long. But this is really good. I see yeah. that you like my lemon pepper. Yeah, it's pretty good. So all in all, I think it's a good product. I recommend it. Yes. It's pretty good. You just have to have patience cooking your food. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it on the comments. Hit the 
subscribe button, hit the like button if you like the video. Any suggestions, then let us know either way. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.